My name is Adam Markell. I'm the CEO of a company called More Love Media, and I'm here at Rhythmia, an absolutely amazing place. It defies description, but I'm going to do my best because it, it, it deserves being described. It's in beautiful Costa Rica. Um, it's, it's a place for me where I began to really explore myself at an even deeper level. I um, uh, have done personal development work. I've been a, a trainer in that space for many, many years. And even with all that experience, having been around personal transformation and business trainings for so many years, I, I've been blown away by what's been provided here at the level of opportunity for personal growth, at the professionalism of the people that are here, at the way that this magnificent property is cared for, at how the staff are so incredibly loving and kind, how the food is so is made with so much love, is so delicious, is so healthy, that the opportunities for relaxation, for being in the sun, for being in, in the, uh, the greater inquiry of, of what is happening in our lives, what's the, where are we at and how are we doing and what is the purpose of our, of our, our existence even, big, big, big questions, massive questions, which uh, it, takes, it takes a really incredible context and an impeccable environment and really loving, caring, professional people to support those kinds of intentions. So being here has been a joy. I've absolutely loved every moment I've been here with my wife, but there are a lot of people who are here uh, by themselves. There are people of all ages, so it's a very diverse group. Uh, everybody feels like family. We're only here now, you know, sort of into the fourth day, and yet, uh, most of us are here for at least a week, and it feels like an incredible family. So I, am, uh, I can't say enough about how wonderful the environment is, how relaxed I am and at ease and at peace. And I would recommend not only that you, uh, if you're thinking, if anybody is thinking about coming here, that you not think too, <laughs> too much about it, but that you, you literally just make a commitment and come. And uh, I look forward to being a return visitor again and again and again. I also participated in the, the ceremonies, the journeys, uh, which is something that um, I, I'm very, I'm actually really proud of myself for, for doing because, um, you know, I, I don't, I sort of like want to keep control. I'm a control freak, I guess, like it's a recovering control freak, like a lot of people, I suppose. but. Uh, but what was just so amazing about those ceremonies was the opportunity for me to be in a safe space. Uh, I think this is the only place in the world where those ceremonies are actually um, sanctioned by law, like they're uh, licensed to do it. They have medical practitioners here, nurses, doctors, people like that. Um, I just felt so cared for, so safe. The space was so sacred. And I absolutely had the most incredible experience on my journey, so it's something that I'm glad that I, I mustered up the, uh, you know, the courage to just challenge my, my fear, I suppose, and, and do it. And I highly recommend it. In fact, I was on the phone with my son just earlier today, he was 20 years old, and I was sharing that experience with him and saying how someday in the near future I would love to not only do it again, but go on that journey with him as well.